I guess we're gonna do it. We're gonna stand in line for bread because that's what you do when you're in Paris. This baguette is so good. It's like super crunchy. Can you hear that? Crunch. Bonjour mes amis. We are at Paris. Welcome to Flavors of the City, Paris. And as you can hear, nothing. It's because it's August in Paris and everybody's at their country house. So we're here and we're gonna enjoy as much as we can of Paris. And here we go, Flavors of the City, Paris, coming up. Bonjour mes amis. We are at Camille, or Camille a French bistro that I have been waiting four years to come back to and during COVID they renovated so the whole space is a little bit different but we are at a bistro and we are having snails. You never had them before I really encourage you to try them they're delicious they're normally cooked with butter and parsley and lots of garlic and they're amazing the sauce is delicious to dip your bread in so next time you're at a French bistro, you should definitely, definitely try the escargot. Don't be afraid. It kind of tastes a little bit like calamari. <laughs> Today's gem of the day is Chez Marianne right behind me. We just happened to stumble upon this restaurant after walking literally for an hour looking for a place that looked good and open in August. Most restaurants are on break right now, like I said before, and it has been so hard to find good places to eat but this was amazing and it's not my typical MO I usually don't like to eat Mediterranean or Turkish style food but oh my gosh just incredibly delicious fresh Chez Marianne definitely come check it out another moment of disappointment what the freaking heck man Look at this, Bistro Colbert. We took an Uber here. It's freaking closed. They said they were open. August sucks in Paris. Okay. Bistro Colbert was not open like they said they were, but we're okay. We're having steak. Looks juicy and delicious. I cannot wait. Today we're doing something a little different. We're still in Paris, obviously, but we have visited a new neighborhood called Boutte de Cai, which I'm told is the equivalent to New York City's Chinatown. So we're super excited because we already can smell all the delicious Asian food and we're on our way to have pho. It's Vietnamese food and this neighborhood actually looks super cool right across from a beautiful park. And we got off the metro at Place d'Italie. So we made it to Faux 14 and I just learned a new trick which I had not known before. My friend who's with me is an Asian food eating extraordinaire and I always thought that this was decoration on a plate uh, when I came to Vietnamese restaurants. So we're having a spring roll, it's a pork spring roll and this is not decoration. We actually stick the spring roll in here with the mint that they give you and you wrap it together a little sandwich and dip it in the sauce and it adds like an extra crispiness it's also with the mint is a little bit more fresh it is unique and amazing try it the next time So we're back in New York City. Thank you for joining me on Flavors of the City, this time in Paris. Uh, we had a lot of difficulties, but we were able to eat the town and just have the best time. And thank you so much for watching and tuning in and stay tuned for the next one.